Hello. Don't fall for these uh, traps of life. Sorry, I just I just woke up. These these the traps of life where you never quite get around to doing the things you you said you wanted to do. Things you always wanted to do and some of the simple things that you should do in the day by day. Um for the most part, you will find that people around you, they're okay with being mediocre. You know, they live, live a mediocre life and, you know, it kind of gives a reasoning. It answers the question of why, why do people promote this mediocrity in music and television and all these things and sports and shit like that. You know, I was thinking about something because... Uh, you know, I live in Maryland and in Washington Post. I, I want to say on the front page, but maybe it wasn't the front page. It, there's a title that says Life After Death. And it's about the Redskins. And they say, well, if we can go, if we, we can make it to 8-8, eight and eight, well, the season won't look that fucking bad. You know, that, that that's people's highlight right now. Boy, I sure do hope the Redskins make it to 8-8. Eight and eight. That means 8 wins and 8 fucking losses. You know, that that's a win for them. I feel like at this point, knowing that that team is going absolutely nowhere, why the fuck would you even be at the game rooting them on? On a Sunday, of all of all things. You know, that's, for a lot of people, it's like their only day off. A Sunday, and you're rooting on a mediocre team. So, in that regard, I understand why, uh, you know, we like to talk down on people on the bandwagon and shit like that. At least they like to see people win. You know, at least they like to see what's at the fucking top. The cream of the fucking crop. Okay, I understand that. Now, you probably can't trust them for shit, but at least they're looking at the top. At least they don't waste their time with the team at the fucking bottom. Nobody wants to see, no, no real winner wants to watch losers their whole fucking life. Sure, you, you, you can, you can, uh, of course you can learn something from them, but you can learn very little by rooting them on to, you know, Oh, win. Please win. You know, please make it to 8-8. Eight and eight. You know, you're not going to learn from them. You're going to learn from teams who are, who are known to fucking win. Okay? You're going to learn from people who are known to win. Now, if you hang around people, just do loser things. And I'm, you know, and I'm not saying, oh, follow me around. Live my life. And No, I'm not saying that. I don't have it all together, but... That mediocre shit is a fucking trap, man. You work hard as hell at work. You go home and you just fucking do nothing. You just do a bunch of mediocre shit. But you know there's some things that you said you wanted to do. You know there's some things. There's some things that I said I wanted to do. I don't want to... Get to the, that finish line in life and say, Oh, I left hella meat on the fucking bone. I left too much on the bone, man. Regret, resentment. What's your North Star? Uh, you know, you have you have children. Children, the driving factor for a lot of you people. The reason why you do the things that you do. The reason why you work as hard as you work as hard as you do. The reason why you have two jobs. And you put away money and you haven't bought new clothes in a long ass time. Your child looks nice. Just getting decent education and um and he or she is thriving maybe in 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 route to having a better life than you did, and you owe that to them you owe that to yourselves, but still we must find ourselves stare away to a to an even higher level where we, where we put it all on the line even if we can't benefit but our future generations will benefit from our uh, sacrifices and selflessness you know some plans are actually pretty simple you know uh, that at the very least someone will will uh, inherit hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars based on your labor every everyday labor uh 
your retirement plans. It might not be Social Security, you know, you you know, but your your retirement plans, your four hundred one k, it might that might not exist, but or it, it could be your life insurance and your Roth IRAs and and things like that. Constantly working towards the future, not living necessarily for the day. I mean, but you do take it moment by moment, but. If you can, you make it so you don't have to live um, paycheck to paycheck. Um, if you can, you you live as though you may make it to 100. You live as though someone would benefit from your labor, and not just your employers, not just your boss, not just the fucking government, because that's a given. But your kids, your Fucking nieces, nephews, grandchildren, whatever. That's who we do it for. That's who we lace it up for. Because if we're not going to be that example for them, they may not actually have one. And you consciously know these things. And we keep saying, oh, do it tomorrow. But then, you know, tomorrow, you know, it becomes today. And tomorrow, it, it becomes... Last week and last year and a decade ago, and we start to lose energy, energy, and drive and self esteem, and we don't believe in ourselves anymore because we don't follow through. And what it is is we don't follow through on the little things. The little things they make the, they make the whole. You know. So those little, workout sessions that you regret it. I mean that you. Uh, Passed on, it could have turned into something much bigger. Uh, I think about this constantly. It doesn't make me feel good, but I don't think I should let myself off the hook. It's not just about, you know, it's not just working out, but that, you know, that too. Other things that I that I wish to do. This isn't me saying to the world what I'm going to do. That's reserved for myself, but. It's very imperative that you watch who you hang around. Because if you allow, they'll they'll keep you in their nice, safe, small little circle. You live to be a hundred. You won't have any adventure. You won't have anything accomplished other than what most Americans kind of have accomplished. Most people have accomplished kind of just by default, you know. It could be fear-based. That could just be um, lack of vision. But yeah, it is a. Uh, it could be your reality. It could be my reality. I don't want it to be my reality, and I don't want it to be yours. I believe in a, a much much better world than uh, than that and it can be so we just have to detach from mediocrity so if given a choice to do things don't settle on hanging around people who are just like, give you the feeling of like, damn, am, am I wasting time around this person? Am I actually learning anything? Am I enjoying this? Like, let's cut that down a little bit, you know? Or do these things where it's like, damn, do I love this TV show? Is this TV show? Like, I feel like, I don't know, I can only really speak for myself, but doesn't there come a little guilt when we don't do some of the things that we just kind of expect ourselves to do but we actually don't have to do and we actually don't want to do like tv shows they get worse man they, they get terrible you don't have to see it all the way through if it's a sorry ass show just stop watching if you don't like the movie even though you pay for it just walk out because time is just that much more important 
you don't like talking to certain people, if you've grown tired with talking to them, you got, t- you know, got tired of the same old mundane ass conversations that were getting you nowhere. And then at the end of the conversations, at the end of the hanging out after an hour or two hours, you look at the fucking clock and you're like, damn, it's time for me to go to sleep and I ain't get shit done. If you get to that point, talk to those people a little less, you know, uh, Talk to your passions a little bit more. You should talk to yourself a little bit more. Get to know who you are. Stop following these fucking people around. Stop losing sleep trying to follow people around that you don't even, you're not even really interested in anymore. We outgrow people and that's okay. But whatever it is, don't fall for these little harmless semen traps.